So this will be my attempt to do a day in my life. So right now we're going garage sailing or rummage sailing, yard sailing, whatever they call it. That's a red light, don't forget to stop. Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. I was not certain of what I was supposed to do. Anytime we need advice, I'm here. You know you're like really hunched over when you drive? Yup. There you go. You're like... <laughs> okay, first garage sale. First garage sale. Well, first garage sale. He wouldn't stop so I can get out and look, but... It's all closed. Huh. I ordered a heap on a table. Come on. Get your shit together. Or I ain't stopping. We'll stop all the way back. You can stop <laughs> all the way back. Oh, you're driving. Jack. Did you see that not so fast Eddie's went out of business? Yeah, you said so about that. That's sad, right? Yeah. Poor guy. Look at this cute little chest. Look at the little fireplace. Life vlog fail because I just don't have enough footage to do a whole follow me a day in my life or whatever. So this is just going to go for the weekly vlog. And we got back from Rummage Stanley and I only spent $2? No, it was $3. I only spent $3. And he only spent a dollar twenty-five, so this is what we got. We got a caddy for the gathering, three glasses, a light-up thing for my Christmas village, a movie, a iPod cover. This was actually free for Mingy. Got this from my dad. And then this is for my dad's birthday. And uh, that's what we got. And I think we got some really good deals. So what are we doing? Well, not yet. Not yet. But we're getting ready to. Yep. Oh, what? 20, 30 more minutes? Your shirt's like really um, vibrant. Yeah. <laughs> What did you get? I think this is uh, well made. I'm not sure what this is though. Probably nine bucks a person now. I need that light on for my 
video. So we got this at a garage sale for five dollars. Got a little spot for your air pump. Or your air bubbler it's supposed to come up through here. Got some Fago to do a sinker float. <laughs> but I'm really excited to put this in the fish tank. I hope it's not too big, but I think it's gonna have we'll have plenty of room. We can put some of that coral stuff that we have or whatever in here. That lady was just being dramatic. So it like fills up. Well maybe she had like really big fish. That's why she said that. Catfish? This is our little 10 gallon 10 gallon tank. So there's there's room in here to put some more of the plastic seaweed. And then over here is our big tank that we want to put it in. So we could totally put like the little log and some of the little ones over in that tank. Yeah, that'd be cool. Look at that little face. Oh, it's so cute. That's a cute little face. You see that I changed my background on my laptop. I'm getting excited for the gathering. Oh, this was the Mighty Death Pop stage that they performed on. Yeah. It's not really showing on the camera though. Last year I'm sure it was missing Link. It was two years ago. I think it was 2014. Because it was um, the Mighty Death Pop. 2013 maybe. 2013. That was a few years ago. Sure. But I have been trying really hard to get my homework done like I've been going like a couple weeks ahead of time trying to get ahead of it so that I can go to the gathering and not have zeros on my assignment so you can work ahead so like I've been working ahead and whatnot um, my goal is to get like <clears throat> at least two days ahead of when we'll get back from the gathering that when we get back we have time to just like relax and chill and wash dishes and wash clothes and unpack and I have to like get in and like I have to start right on my homework because it's an online class that has a lot of typing a lot of essays a lot of a lot of typing so I don't want to come back and like have to get right on I kind of want to be a little bit ahead like a day or two that we can come back and have a day just to relax and then dive back in but my class ends July 30th, so it's cutting it really close. So basically, I'm trying to get through my whole class before I go to the gathering, basically. So we'll see how that turns out. So this is the tank afterwards and it's definitely quite full. There are the little babies and there's our daddy in the back. Their mother died so that's why it's just him. But our snails are definitely liking this log. He's climbing all over it. But I kind of like that there's so much in there because the babies love the little things that hide underneath and whatnot. And then here's our big one. And they're all kind of clustered over there. But, I mean, it's not too big. I kind of like it. I think it looks nice. This is my movie collection, me and Kenneth's movie collection. And I just kind of dusted the shelves today and kind of organized them. And this got me thinking about the question for this week. So my question to you for the week is, what was your favorite Disney movie? And I'm not talking about like live action, I'm talking about 
the cartoon classic Disney movie. Like, what was your favorite? My favorite would have to be Pocahontas. That all-time favorite. I think, you know, Tarzan comes close to second. And Lion King was a good one. That's pretty good. But by far, Pocahontas all the way. I mean, if you're like a close friend of mine or whatnot, you know I like Pocahontas because this is my Pocahontas collection. And then I also have a blanket and pillowcase and whatnot from when I was little. There's just all kinds of stuff. That's a t-shirt from when I was younger. And then up here on the top shelf is all of the Lego Star Wars. And we even have some more Disney characters and then some odds and ends like Pokemon and Adventure Time and Ninja Turtles. When it comes to decorating, me and Kenneth are... Oops. I thought I turned the light off, but I turned it back on. When it comes to decorating, me and Kenneth are pretty big kids, basically. Most of our stuff is like Pokemon or Disney or <laughs> so, but that's okay. That's what we like and looking around the apartment, it's not supposed to look like one of those high-end houses. It's supposed to resemble us and when people come over, I want them to be able to say, yeah, this is definitely Megan and Kenny's apartment. So. Decorate your place the way you want, yo. But I gotta edit these videos. So I can, oh I gotta upload them so I can, oh you guys, look. So basically that's the wall of freshness. Now I do have a couple of more things to put on here from a record store I went to. They gave us like a little sticker and stuff. And this is actually like double-sided foam tape. I don't really even know what to call it. It's like really thick foam material. Double-sided. So it's not going to be permanent. You know. So, and this is cool because it's like it displays it. And we don't have to um, ruin our stickers or anything. And like, it's better than just sitting in a shoebox somewhere not even getting used. And I haven't shown you what's above that, have I? Oh. I'll have to show you that too, because that's pretty cool. These are my concert photos. I don't really know what you want to call them, but this was a concert we went to. And it's like the do not enter tape from it and the confetti that they threw out our tickets. And then the corners are bracelets. This is another one we went to. Our bracelets are up there. Fago bottles that we caught, etc. And then this one's a more recent one. It was a Riddle Box tour. There's a couple pictures on this one. The flyer hangout for the background. The money, the fake money they threw out, and our waist, our wristbands, or whatever you call them. So yeah, that's kind of cool way to like display it. And I know I really like pictures. So to be able to look at that and almost feel like you're back there at that concert and feeling that experience is just amazing. I love just being able to look at them and it's a nice way to display them. I need one more right here and then that will look nice I think. So.